Abhishek Manu Singhvi of the Congress Party uh, as well on the phone line with us. Sir, your initial reactions to reports from Andhra Pradesh that N.D. Tiwari has stepped down over these allegations of being involved in a sex scandal. Well, uh, I am out of Delhi, but I can tell you this, that the Congress has always acted and set greater store, greater uh, reliance on moral principles. The guilt is very heavily disputed by Mr. Diwari. I don't think it's a question of legal guilt. He has acted in the traditions of accepting a moral situation and leaving. But I'd like to ask you a question that Congress has shown this time and again in terms of moral acceptability of certain values and principles. How many times has the opposition done that? After the Mumbai events of 26-11, Mr. R. R. Patil at Maharashtra level and Mr. Shivraj Patil at the central level resigned. Uh, did Mr. Advani ever think of resigning as Home Minister after 20 such incidents? So the Congress has acted always traditionally and in a historical sense by adherence to these principles. And I think that is that. Uh, one shouldn't make value judgments about legal guilt because there are very disputed facts involved. Right. M Mr. Singhvi, given the kind of tensions we're seeing in Andhra Pradesh uh, at this point in time politically, uh, this kind of situation now, how will it impact the troubles that are brewing on the ground as well over the Telangana issue? No, I think, I think it's quite wrong to link two unlinkable, unconnected events, completely unconnected Telangana and this event. Yes, you do need uh, a governor's presence in that state, no doubt, but then... Uh, I'm sure there is no vacuum for long in any political situation. Uh, as you know, when governors leave office in any manner, there is an immediate handing over of additional charge, and there will be, therefore, a person who will have additional constitutional charge of that state. And I don't think that things will continue too long in that position either. So I think that is something uh, which you should not connect in any manner at all. Right. And Mr. Singhvi, do you think that as a party and uh, also perhaps Mr. Tiwari in his individual capacity will take this up legally? What are the kind of resources uh, that are available so in a no situation like of, this? There's no question of the party coming into it. Certainly Mr. Tiwari is entitled to, if he's aggrieved. Certainly Mr. Tiwari has disputed these facts very strongly and I expect and imagine that he will take it up. But then that's between Mr. Tiwari and uh, the courts, uh, there's no role for the party there. Right, Mrs. Singhvi, thanks so much for joining us on the phone line with your uh, immediate reactions.